Okay, it's been a while since I've uh, updated showing what my antenna looks like. I I tweaked it a little bit, but um, let's start from the end and we'll work way inside. But uh, so you can see right there, there's an alligator clip um, with some wire that runs over that way and through the slinky. And the reason why it's like that is because I was too lazy to, you know, just cut off the end there and just attach it to the end. So I had some extra length, so I was like, not a heck with it. <laughs> so I just attached it like that. But um, the wire itself goes through the slinky. And as you can tell from past videos, I'm obsessed with the uh, slinky antenna idea. I don't know why, I just am. But I got running down here to this pipe which I got uh, tied to like this um, pillar on the porch here. Down here on the bottom, I got alligator clip attached to the bottom of the pipe with the wire that goes to this ballon here. And then from the ballon, which is a, um, a nine to one ballon, if I remember correctly, got off of eBay. Uh, but anyhow, it goes across the porch here and uh, up here to this uh, jumper, which I got off a of Universal Radio for, oh, I can't remember, maybe 40, 50 bucks, something like that. Um, you know, just your standard coax cable. And this part goes inside. Now here, let me just uh, pause this and continue from what it looks like inside my room. Okay, now hopefully this shows up because this camera kind of sucks when it's in like a dark, well, in a room like this. I've got all the lights turned on and the blinds open for both windows, so hopefully this shows up. But um, here's the other end of that jumper I was showing you. And the coax I got going down here, and um, it goes behind. I really can't see anything, but just take my word, it goes behind my entertainment center and the bookshelf here. And it goes over here to my uh, three-way antenna, antenna switch. Now, if you, um, if you're a friend of mine on uh, Facebook or follow me on Google Plus, you'll see that I posted some pictures of my setup over here. This is oh, here. Let me turn it down. That's the idiot son. Fourteen three one three. I just had on there because usually it's the easiest you know, amateur radio frequency to find the words. There's somebody usually constantly on there. Sadly, it's a bunch of idiots, but, you know, it's something. But, um, for position one, that goes to my Grundig uh, on the uh, three-way switch there. Position two goes down here to the, uh, the Yaesu FRG7. And the third position here goes to my realistic DX160. Although, I'll have to do some more experimenting but it doesn't seem to make any difference whether I'm on the third position or not. I'm still getting a signal. I'm not sure if it's the uh, coax cable type that I'm using or not. But here, let me show you. Um, it goes from your standard, you know, coax plug-in. And then on the back, uh, I can't see anything. Hold on, let me get my flashlight. Hopefully this helps. Sorry if it's shaky or if you can't see anything. But, um... On the back here, the coax cable ends in, you know, kind of the, uh, um, I don't know exactly what you call that, but it's, it's a U-shape and then you can, you know, attach it to the screws. So that's how I have it attached um, to this, to the radio, the Realistic DX160. So, yeah, that's, these are my main radios for, for DXing. On my desk uh, next to well, I can't see it, but just check out the pictures on Google Plus or Facebook of my radio setup here. Eventually, what I want to do is um, buy a separate desk, move um, my current desk over just a little bit, move the computer onto the desk, so then that way I can buy like maybe three more radios and get like you know a six way antenna switching box, so then I could have like six different radios on my desk here and I already got kind of my wish list set up I want to get the allied either the SX or the AX um, so it's like the 190 or something like that um, I want to get a tube type radio and it really sucks because there's 
a refurbished one of Hellcrafters on eBay right now and I'm looking at and I still might pick it up just for the heck of it just to add to my collection uh, but yeah that's my uh, my uh, what my outdoor antenna looks like and my uh, kind of like you know radio shack and just for a heck of it um, my other radios um, are over here on my headboard of my bed here these are just just for general listening if I'm you know not in a major lo major league listening mood um, although the uh, the Texan PLA 80 that's a that's a nice one for DXing for a portable but uh, yeah that's my radio setup and my outdoor antenna hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always peace and all that good stuff